Hey folks, how you doing? It's Dave here. I just wanted to uh, show you a quick demonstration of what I did today. I've got a, an old Craftsman vacuum cleaner here. It's nothing great, but it's the thing works awesome. Cost me, I don't know, maybe 150 bucks. But the point is, I didn't want to throw it out. Today I discovered that the um, unit wasn't working, so I wanted to figure out what the problem was. I took the cap off, and uh, the first thing I want to do is test the switch. So, if you see on the front here, the on and off switch is right there. You always want to start with a switch. It's probably the easiest thing to fix. Um, you want to have one of these, it's called a multimeter. And you, in order to check the continuity of the switch and make sure that it's working properly, you're going to need one of these. And there's a bunch of settings, there's voltage, there's amperage. You want to go to this little baby right here. It's, it's an ohm sign. It's a sign for an ohm. And use the ohm meter to check the continuity. You want to set the dial down to the lowest setting. In this case, it's 200. You set that on the on the side here. I'm going to prop it up just so I think you can see the numbers when it pops up. The thing you want to look for when you're checking continuity is you want to look for a number on the screen that's pretty much zero. That means there's no resistance whatsoever in the in the uh, line. If there's resistance and it's it's a broken cord or a broken switch, the numbers are going to fluctuate, but you're going to have like higher numbers. It's definitely not going to be zero. So we're going to check this. We're going to take the black and the red. I don't think it matters which goes which. And you're going to want to put the red on one side of the switch, the black on the other side of the switch. If you look at the uh, numbers on the screen, they're, they're going down to pretty much zero. I mean, there's there's a little bit of number there. Get it right there. It's like 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0.5, so it's pretty much zero. So I, I've, I've basically um, determined that the switch is good. And the next thing I'm going to do is check the cord. And I'll check that now, and I'll uh, figure out what that is. It's probably the cord at this point. All right, cool. There you go.